My name is Paul Slode, group number 30, and this is the demonstration of my circuit, my adder subtractor circuit. Right here is the circuit itself. Those are the LEDs. Here is the input for the two binary numbers, and this right here is the switch for CN to make it a subtractor. And these right here are the test cases for the adder and subtractor. In terms of addition, um, we have the decimal numbers 7 and 5 being added to give us 12, 2 and negative 5 to give us negative 3, 8 and negative 6 to give us 2, and negative 2 and negative 4 to give us negative 6. For the subtraction, we have the binary subtraction of the decimal integers, 4 and 4 which will give us 0, 6 and negative 2 which will give us 8, 1 and 5 which will give us negative 6, and negative 5 and negative 6 which will give us 1. These will be input on the circuit and the output will be seen on these LEDs right here with these being the actual integer and this being the overflow slash carry bit. Now I will input each of the numbers. So 7 and 5 have the input as uh, in binary integers, and as you can see, the output is 12, with the most significant bit being 0, and the least significant bit being 0. Next, we have 2 plus negative 5. Uh, as you can see here, 2 plus negative 5 gives off the 2's uh, complement for negative 3 the most significant bit is 0 and the least significant bit is 1. Next we have the addition of 8 and negative 6. So 8 and negative 6 gives the binary number 2 and the most significant bit is 1 and the least significant bit is 0. And finally, for the addition cases, we have negative 2 and negative 4, which gives the 2's complement for of negative 6, with the most significant bit being 1 and the least significant bit being 0. Now for the subtraction cases. To make this a subtractor, the C in switch is flipped which lights up the most significant bit and now we will input uh, the binary numbers 4 and 4 and as you can see this gives the binary number 0 and with the most significant bit being 1 and the least significant bit being 0. Next we will have 6 minus negative 2 which will give the binary number 8 and with the most significant bit being 0 and the least significant bit being 1. Next we will subtract negative 1 minus 5 which gives the 2's complement for negative 6 with the most significant bit being 1 and the least significant bit being 0. And finally, for the subtractor case, we have negative 5 minus negative 6, which gives the binary number 1, with the most significant bit being 1 and the least significant bit being 0, as can be seen. This was the demonstration of the circuit. All of the outputs of the LEDs matched exactly what should be in theory, uh, thereby verifying that this is indeed a 4-bit adder subtractor. <laughs>